<laughs> hey guys, it's PT, Math Musician. Today I'm going to show you how to play Freebird by Leonard Skinner on the accordion. <laughs> So first we'll go over the left hand part. The song starts out pretty slow, uh, and of course the whole song is in the key of G. So the button that has the dent on it, so you can feel it, is the C, the C bass note. Now the one right above that is the G bass note, so that's going to be where you end up landing for a lot of this song. So that G note right above the one with the dent on it. So basically we need G, the major chord and the note. D, the major chord and the note, and also the major third, which is F sharp, in that same row. Then we're also going to need the A, just the note this time. And then we'll also need the E, the note, and also the E minor chord. And you also might want to go ahead and just have the B note in, in handy, right above the E. And that's as far up as you'll have to go. And then down below that G starting position, You'll have the C itself, which we already talked about, has the dent on it, and the C major chord. Then below that, you have the F and the F major chord. And then still one more below that, you have the B flat and the B flat major chord. So those are all the ones that you'll need for this song. All right, cool. So once you know where all those things are, we're ready to start um, practicing the opening um, on the left-hand part. So it sounds like this, starting on G. repeats and for the opening you're going to do that like at least twice and then for each verse you'll do it four times so that pattern right there that we just did um, you'll have to get used to it yeah. <laughs> get a little a little more fancy with it on that last bit before you go back to the G you can go D E F sharp and then G so it sounds like so I end on the the D part back to the G traveling back D E F sharp G kind of just adds a nice sound to it as you transition back to the beginning of that pattern so that's bass notes and chords for the opening as well as the verses of the song. All right, so for the chorus, it's a lot simpler than the first thing we learned. So it's F major, or the F note and the F major. And then the C and then the C major. And then jump up to the, back to the D and D major. And you kind of do that one twice as long. So yeah, basically just F and F major, C and C major, and then D and D major, and do that last one twice. And you're going to do that um, three times for the first chorus, and yeah, and then you do it four times on the chorus that comes right before the solo. So for the solo uh, on the left-hand part, so after you do the chorus... So it was F major, C major, and then D major. But this time, instead of just clicking it, we're going to actually do the walking back and forth pattern. So like D, D major, A, D major, that walking back and forth pattern. And then the solo begins. In some ways, ironically, the solo is actually one of the easier parts of the song, because at least for the left hand, because you're literally just doing those three chords over and over again, but the C is twice as long, and you're just doing that. As long as you can master that back and forth pattern with the bass notes, then you should be fine. But yeah, so it's G major, and then B flat major, and C major, and then C major again. Yeah, so you're just going to repeat that for the whole solo, and then if you want to... Um, I mean, the real song just kind of fades out, but if you want to end on a final um, 
G major chord, then ending the song, you go. <laughs> So for the right hand, for the opening of the song, if you want, you can like, um, as your left hand is playing that pattern, the G major, E major, E, ma uh, e minor, all that stuff, um, as you're doing that pattern, if you want to match it on the right hand with just like some arpeggios or something like that, I mean, you can do that, or you can just leave it alone, but if, if you were going to do that, it would probably sound like this. <laughs> if you want um, but either way so for the actual verse where the actual words of the song start it goes a little like this <laughs> so yeah probably best to start with your thumb on the g uh, just because it's in g major but your hand is gonna have to move around quite a bit to hit all those notes um, but yeah, so those, that's the basic melody of the verse. That gets repeated three times, and then on the fourth time, it um, changes a little bit to make way for the chorus. So the fourth one sounds like this. As you move into the chorus, of course on the first course that's the end of it um, but then on the second chorus that goes into the solo, that um, you have one more extra part that goes. And then it enters into the solo from there. So yeah, chorus is very simple. All right, cool. Now this, <laughs> last but not least, this is by far the most ambiguous part of the song. Uh, the right hand part for the solo. Now, we've already talked about how the left hand is literally just doing the same thing over and over again. Just G major, uh, B flat major, and then C major twice. Um, it's just doing that those four chords over and over and over again for the whole rest of the song. The only part that has words is that first little bit where he says, Lord, I can't change. Like that. So... He's, you're literally just going to go, because you ended going back and forth D and C sharp. So you're going to, you end up on the G, on the D note there as you switch to the solo part. And then the rest of the song um, with the, the guitar solo, um, you can kind of just do whatever seems like it fits with the chord progression on the left-hand side. Um, I have a few go-tos that I'll explain here. Um, first one is the... So, we'll do that right here. fits with the beat. I did in the video, I did a combination of those three uh, patterns 
and then I did a giant repeat, but an octave higher. So I went up to this um, G note, and then did the whole thing again. Right, and then one that's really good to switch to that kind of fits with the um, the part of the song where the solo kind of has more like strums and then pauses, like tum, tum, and then a pause and then tum, tum, like that. Um, a good thing for that is to go like this. Like that. So just are basically going back and forth arpeggios on the chords on the right hand side. And then if you want to skip the that part and just keep and then like to make it even more like i guess intense sounding you could like skip that part and just go back and forth the whole time <laughs> it sound even faster you can not go back and forth just go di one direction but just do it over and over again really really fast like in instead of just going like do it like basically just this but over and over again really fast and then for the b flat and then for the c so that's one way to do it the chords you know like that at the same time um but yeah i think in the recording that's pretty much what i did and then i just kind of went back and did like a faster version of some of the older ones um but yeah you can really just kind of play around with it see which notes in the chords that you're doing at the time on the left hand just see which notes sound good together and just play around with it because it really is a solo and you can kind of make it what you want but that's kind of how i did it um and then when you get to the end of the song, if you want to do what I do, I always like to end my songs, especially my big ones, with the, the when you end on the chord on the left-hand side, you reach that, then on the right-hand side, you do this. It's just a nice climb up through that major key. And then if you want, you can stretch it out. A couple of different uh, pushes and pulls of the bellows, and then also, if you really want to add some flair, you can go like really fast back and forth. <laughs> While that chord is going. Just add a nice little ending to it. All right, I think I covered everything uh, in the song. I think I covered all the individual parts of it, uh, the left hand and right hand parts for both the opening and the verses and then the chorus and then also the solo. So yeah, you should be able to hopefully piece that together on your own. And of course, you know, watch the video um, of when I played through the whole song. But anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.